If you are thinking of voting for the DA and you are a racist, please don't vote for us. Hallo en baie welkom by die spesiale uitgave van Top Stories, ons is by die Apartheid Museum in Johannesburg, waar Moesie Mamani, die leier van die Demokratiese Alliantie, die ambtelike oppositie, vanochtend in een toespraak in soveel woorde gesê het, as jy een racist is, moet asjeblief nie voortaan vir die DA stem nie. Hy het ook een verskynheid ander goed geplaat, onder andere dialoogreeks, een gespreksreeks wat die DA wil loods, wat nie onder een partijpolitieke vaandel sal geskiet nie, maar wat uit partijgeledere uit een voorstel was om racisme te probeer teenkant. Daar gaan ook het teenracisme eet afgeleef word dier alle DA lede in die toekomst en dan as jy nou die eet sy omvat om oortree dat jou lidmaatskap eenvoudig herroep sal word. Daar is ook gepraat van een wervingsdoelwit vir 2019 om grote rasse verteenwoordiging ook op parlementaire vlak in DA geledere te sien en dan een beleidsdokument wat binnenkort blijkbaar bekend gestel gaan word wat oor onderwijs toegang tot die hoofde en die rechtsstelsel een grote verspraak van een verspreiding van kapitaal in een Zuid-Afrikaanse samenleving wil sien en ook nieuwe grondbesit doelwitte sal omvat. I cannot be free while our people are still in chains. We need a black economic empowerment that benefits poor black South Africans. I do think that what Moussi had to say was necessary because you know uh, everybody views DA as a party that is racially, you know, exclusive, exclusive of, of other people. And coming from, you know, his point of view, I really thought it was inspirational. Rafilwe and Sheikh had the national word for the DA asleep by my aunt. Rafilwe, there was a lot of things said in there. I think the, the thing that probably stood out for most um, were the comments around land ownership redress and uh, that of capital concentration. Uh, tell us more about how those changes will be affected because these are big promises to make. I think, look, the reality of what South African is dealing with, the pride of anybody in South Africa is if you own your title deed, you own the land, which is an asset that you can actually use, even if it's to get a loan from the bank, then you can say, I've actually got something security against this loan. So those are the basic foundations of where this is going to be coming from. We've got a land policy, which is quite detailed, which also talks to willing buyer, willing seller, which is trying to redress and get people to get access to land. In cases like Diane Kola Barnard and Penny Sparrow, though, there's been a lot of talk about rehabilitation, especially with Diane Kola Barnard. Is there no space for someone who might have been racist to... to change their stripes? Look, sometimes you need to be realistic. Sometimes people make mistakes and utter something without really being a racist. And I, I mean, people have come back and said, you know what, I've learned, I'm a wiser person, I want to change because I know that judging people by the base of their skin color is not the right thing to do. I want to be a part of the broader South Africa. I embrace the constitution. Sal jy na aanleiding van Moesie Mamani se toespraak vandag in hierdie nieuwe DA planne eerder vir die DA stem of dat ek twee keer daar oor dink, laat hoor van jou. Tweet ons by Netwerk24 met jou uitsmerkte op stories of e-post nieuws by Netwerk24.com. Ek is Elma Smit by die Apartheid Museum vir Netwerk24.